is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of my LB The Show franchise fantasy draft Mariners with creative players. Uh, today, we're going to do things a little bit different uh, based on a suggestion from Russell. Thank you, Russell. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to speed things up a little bit. Um, the whole point of the creative player um, and having all these creative players for my viewers and, and stuff like that uh, was to kind of see how they progress. Um, and I, I'm kind of going a little too slow to kind of see how they progress. So from here on out, we're going to sim a month at a time. Um, it'll help speed things up. It'll help us actually get through the franchise. It'll help us get through the creative plays and see where they progress in three or four years before and will be the show 19 comes out and we start again. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to do a month at a time. So we check out the calendar here. We have a week left in June. We're going to sim that plus all of July just to kind of get on the monthly track. Um, uh, kind of get rolling. So July will be one. The next thing will be August. The next thing will be the end of the season. And then we're going to go right into the off season. Um, check out where all the players went. See how they finished the season. See if anybody got promoted, demoted, or traded. Um, which would also, you know, would be pretty interesting as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to look through every single box score either. I think that takes too much time. I don't want a 45 minute video. I think that's a little ridiculous and way too long. Um, so we're kind of going to sim as we go. If there's an interesting box score or an interesting score or something like that, I might check it out. Uh, but definitely not going to do like I did in the other, um, in the previous episodes. We're just going to roll through, do a month at a time, get this thing moving along, um, and go from there. So. Uh, we're we're going to go to the calendar here. So if you see, we do have one game left with Boston. Then we go to Baltimore for four. Um, and then we have some interleague play. Um, the White Sox and a lot of LOS guys. So we're going to roll through this here. Um, before we get rolling, this is where we currently stand. Uh, we're six games back in the American League West. Nobody's really running away with it. We're pretty much about the same. Um, out of the wild card, five and a half out. Not the all-star break yet. We definitely have a chance. We're getting our guys healthy again, so maybe, maybe this team can can do something. Maybe we can sneak in if, um, if we can get people back. Uh, we so we have Hunter Renfro coming back really soon. Tim Anderson still out for a couple a uh, couple uh, months, um, and we get Trevor Bauer back pretty quick as well. So. Uh, getting a couple big guys back uh, that are key parts of this roster. So we're going to roll here. Uh, not calendar. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. But you guys can't see because this this went away. But you can see it on top. Uh, we won this game here 13-8. to eight. Um, So we're going to roll through Baltimore here. I don't care. Max Scher uh Oh, a few days. That's fine. Hunter Renfro. Let's go. He is back. Just what we needed real quick. I want to go check this out and make sure we are good to go. Renfro's back in the lineup. Again, he's only, or he's 26 years old. Still a potential. Still going up. That power from the left side of the plate is crazy. Love that I have him back. I love that I have him back. If I have that though, like that many guys on the a six man bullpen, that's fine. It 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 is what it is. So let's keep rolling here. Baltimore. Send somebody down. That's fine. Bro, what? What? He's back for not even a game. Dude, he is out for two months comes back for less than nine innings and he's out for another two months why does this game hate the mariners and everything regarding it just like real life that is unbelievable oh my god dude i want to see let's see here how renfro got four at bats was three for four two runs two rbis hit a bomb, and then gets hurt. Bro, that is so <laughs> ridiculous. He literally plays one game. He gets four at-bats and gets hurt for two months again. I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss 
as the how that even happens, dude. <laughs> All right, we get Bauer back. Uh, 16 to no. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, man. All right, we get swept by the Kansas City Royals. That's good. Los Angeles Angels lose. Oh, that's an interesting game. Again, we're only going to check the ones that seem pretty interesting. 11 to 10 is pretty solid. Five hits from Riley for the Angels. They go deep three times. Gordon goes three for five with five runs batted in. We go deep three. Gordon goes deep twice. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> well, boys, I think uh, we're going the wrong way here. Hunter Renfro is eligible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He, he's still out for a month. That's ridiculous, dude. I can't, can't fucking believe that. Uh, Tigers are interested in offering you a trade. Let's see what they want to do. They want to take Wade LeBlanc off my hands. Or no, they want to give me Wade LeBlanc off. I'm sorry. For two prospects? A 60 overall 21-year-old see potential and a 25 year old see potential why do they want to get rid of Wade LeBlanc how is he doing oh he's 33 that's why 33 he hasn't even been used this year what am I seeing that correctly that he hasn't even been used this year It's very interesting to me. He's a free agent at the end of this year. He's in the minors. No. You're not going to salary dump on me, fool. No. You're not going to salary dump on me. Get out of here. Not even like in the postseason at all. I'm not going to take on salary. David Phelps, day or two, fine. Ba, 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 five to four. Two to three. At Colorado, last game before the All-Star. The Reds pick up Witt Merrifield. Wow. If those two prospects have good potential, that's a decent trade. If not, that's a steal. 14 bombs. That dude's hitting 323. 50 runs battered in. 87 overall. The Phillies just gave up Whit Merrifield. Wow. All right. Ryan Braun. Cool. He's out for a couple weeks. That's awesome. All right. Let's go check out the All-Stars. Because I want to see... Wait, where do I go here? All star voting. Bum, bum, bum. Noah, Chris Sale, Michael Fulmer. Claire Shaw, Chase Whitley, David Hernandez. Gary Sanchez. Freddie Freeman at first base. Daniel Murphy, Jose Altuve, Justin Turner, Jake Lamb, Trey Turner, Gene Segura. Trey Tulo's mine, right? Nope. Not paying attention. Yoannis, Justin Upton, Brantley, and Benny Tendy. D. Gordon gets second in center field voting. Go check out the American League. Henderson Alvarez. I'm trying to see if any of the creative players made it in here. There's only a couple guys that are in the majors, but I'm still kind of curious. Goldschmidt, Votto, Abreu. With a third with Mer Merrifield. Josh Donaldson. Correa's hurt.
how did there there's a major league player how did he not even get votes he's in the american league maybe i just not paying attention to him oh there he is that's one of the creative players he got fourth in the american league in first base voting he has 28 home runs 65 rbis hitting 315 and he got fourth brutal brutal all right, so um, lineups. I don't have a, I don't have one. All right, we're gonna send the All Star game. Just wanted to see who was in it. The AL wins. Can't check box score, can I? Which is unfortunate. That's okay. All right, to the White Sox. Fix my lineups. Win four to two. Lose six to four, a win five to two. A quick two game interleague series with the Giants. Tommy Twisted is one of my creative players who is in the minor leagues. He breaks his hand. He is out for the remainder of the season on my double A team. Brutal to Tommy Twisted. If you're watching this, that's unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. Better luck next year. Lance McCullers also goes to the Reds. The Reds are cleaning up right now. They're giving up some prospects to make a run. Lance McCullers is in the final year of his contract, and he will go from Toronto to Cincinnati. How is Cincinnati? Are they, I mean, if they're making moves like that, they should be in the playoffs, right? Or at least close. They're fighting. They're fighting for the Central. They're 22 games above 500. And they're in a, they're 10 games up, nine, nine games up in the wild card. So they're just trying to make a push. I like how the game does that. If you're a buyer, you're a buyer. I like that. I like that. We get Ryan Braun back. That's a 9-3 win over the Angels there. You get, uh, the game you guys can't see. Two more with Houston, and we're going to be done with this. Today's the trade trade deadline. We're uh, because it's our last game. Let's quick sim through this last one here. Uh, let's go back here. Trade deadline prep. Shh, quiet, quiet. Cody Allen goes from Toronto. The Toronto's giving up their players. Final year of his contract. He goes to the New York Metropolitans. We're gonna quick manage this last game against the Houston Astros. We got Garrett Richards on the hill with a 5.68 ERA. Not great. Not great. D. Gordon is the all-star. Brian Dozier. This team is tired as hell. But Chapman's hurt. Probably should sit some guys, especially Ryan Braun. I really don't want to put Kendrys at first base, but I think I don't have a choice. Braun's tired as hell. So we're gonna go Braun here. And we're gonna who who's on the hill? A right hander? Um uh, Steve Pierce. Phil Gosselin's hitting two fifty three. Steve Pierce hitting two twenty seven. Let's put in Phil Gosselin. Ryan Braun. And we're gonna switch Kendry's into the four hole. Just to give him a break. All right, we're going to go on that. One, two, three inning. D. Gordon leading off. He K's up. Nothing doing through the first for anybody. Garrett Richards is clear through two. Morales singles. David Dahl doubles behind him. Salarte sack fly scores one. Tim Beckham reaches on the air. Afaro K's up, and Phil Gosselin K's up as well. Straight through here. Ground out, ground out, ground out. Chris Bryant breaks up the no-hitter. And just like that, that we are tied. Rizzo somehow steals second base. Duval walks. McCann walks. Trevor's Torrey K's up. And we are still knotted at one. Salarte gets on. Nothing doing. Top five here. Get Richards is pitching pretty well so far. Winker singles. Double play. We go bottom five. Two guys on for Brian Dozier, who flies out. Can't get... Anything happened. Castellanos strikes out. 
Bryant grounds out. Rizzo gets on. <coughs> but Duval ends the inning. Bottom six. We're sitting 1 1 still. Salarte gets on. Beckham can't do anything. Probably Garrett Richards' last inning. Probably. Probably take him out after seven. Let's see if we can get him anything but a no decision. D. Gordon doubles. Ben Gamble K's up. God, two, three, four. Do I keep Richards in? Okay. He let one guy on base. That's all I needed to see. I let, I gave him a chance. I gave him a chance. Righty, lefty, righty. Let's bring in Blake Trinan. K's him up. Rizzo singles. Duval walks. Damn it. <laughs> Let's bring in Alexander now. See if we can get lefty on lefty here. Sack fly. Shit. Trevor Story singles home. Runner thrown out. Houston gets two, though. The Astros bring in Alex Claudio in his 1.59 ERA to face 3 4 5. Dozier K's up. Morales grounds out. Dahl flies out. Uh, we'll keep lefty lefty. Single, single. You're gone. Let's bring in. Um... I need a righty. K's him up. K's him up. K's him up. Let's go. At least gives us a chance in the bottom. They bring in Familia, their closer, with a 5.71 ERA. Let's see if we can do anything here. We got Salarte, Beckham, and Alfaro. Salarte strikes out. Beckham strikes out. Alfaro is out. And the Mariners just can't figure it out. <laughs> Too many chances. Couldn't make it happen. <clears throat> and that is going to be the month. That is going to be the month. Let's see where we stand. We go from six back to 15 back. We go from five and a half back in the wild card to eight and a half back. What a horrible, horrible month. Uh, stats. Actually, I want team stats. Let's just do this. <laughs> Lineups, D. Gordon down to 285, Ben Gamble 215, Dozier 258. Not having Renfro hurts the middle of this lineup. I mean, we're not spectacular anyhow, but not having him really hurts this lineup. Tim Beckham is doing pretty well. But why is he hitting seventh? I might need to change that. He has 16 bombs hitting almost 300. It's probably not a good spot for him. Uh, pitching rotation, Trevor Bauer, 5.28. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't throw my stuff around. Look, nobody saw that. It's fine. Nothing happened, guys. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. 5.51 for Garrett Richards. McCarthy, 4.33, 4.50 for Junis. And Max Scherzer is a sub-3 ERA after coming back off the DL. Closer, 3.41. Yeah, just not a great season for the M's here. Like I said when I first started this, they're very young. They're very young. Um, and we're, you know, first couple years might be tough. But we will see what happens in the month of August. The trade deadline, waiver trades in one day. We got two more Sims to finish the season and then we're going to go into the off season clear i don't see us making the playoffs at all i want us to get healthy see how we progress from there we're 21st wait 21st in what <laughs> just as a rank 15th in contact 13th in power 17th in pitching fourth in speed 22nd in defense not great not great so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Again, if you have a creative player or you want to see how the creative players are doing, in the description below, there will be a Google Drive link so you can see all of the creative player stat updates thus far. Um, I try to put any notes in the right column as well. So if they're hurt, if they just got promoted, if there's any special news about them, I put that in there as well. Drop a like, drop a sub. Let me know what you think in the comments. Any suggestions, anything you'd like me to see in the off or you'd like to see in the off season. Anything new you'd like me to do in year two, let me know. Guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. I love you. Take it easy. See you later.